take you to the full match highlights. And this is uh, Ian when his alarm goes off at 4 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> Stop at time, first half, our game's first goal. A nice little one, too. It was a nice one. Left the runners there. Two good, two good forward runners there for Cameron. We didn't see that against Chile, and they, they really did uh, punish Australia. And like, uh, like Zoom said there, they did deserve to win this game, but it's about taking chances. Zambal and Gisa's first international goal, 57th minute. In the first half, we showed the highlights uh, one very clear situation that Abubakar missed high. Now he missed again in the second half, now to the side. Abubakar, you deserve a red card, man. You, you have to make this kind of goal when you have an opportunity right there in front of the goal. Not a lot coming from Australia, plenty of possession, but you know what? They get this. Now, this was interesting here. The referee, he may or may not have signaled to the penalty spot, but he did signal, make the signal for the VAR, so that confirmed it for him. And then we get steps up. Ooh, it. close. Kind of interesting, Lex, that he went to the, to the VAR, and he was right there. Could have made the decision himself. Passing the buck. Millsy with the finish. Again, I think this one as well. Let this me see who missed this one. I, I think you oh. can see that, Fern. He's got. He, he comes across. He's, he's got to get more foot, more, more foot, more on that ball. Abu Papa is keep missing, man. He's gonna go tonight to the hotel and he says, "How come I miss so many ones?" So here's what that draw means in Group B: Cameroon, Australia, both with the point. They live to play again. They have not been eliminated. But the big storyline, if there is a winner in our next game, Chile, Germany, that team will become the first confirmed semifinalist at this year's edition of the FIFA Confederations Cup.